Good morning. Police increasing patrols at Deutsche Bank locations here in New York City after its German headquarters received a package with an explosive device addressed to the chief exec. Our source says authorities also asking Wall Street companies to put mail rooms on alert. In the meantime, J.P. Morgan Chase not doing so hot on giving customers mortgage modifications under the government's HAMP program. A Treasury Department report says Chase has the worst record among the major banks. And Pacific Sunwear shrinking. The teen retailer announcing plans to close up to 200 stores over the next year or so as it struggles to return to profitability. A watch for tense moments on Capitol Hill this morning. Former New Jersey Governor John Corzine scheduled to testify at a House hearing about more than a billion dollars missing from customer accounts at his former trading firm, MF Global. Now, investors today also eyeing a two-day European summit as the region's leaders explore ways to respond to Europe's growing debt crisis. And optimism that European leaders have big plans up their sleeve, helping take the Dow and S&P higher yesterday. Well, the NFL and Disney huddle to make sure fans with tickets actually get to see Super Bowl 46. That's after hundreds of fans with tickets were turned away last year. The USA Today says the league is working with Disney on training 20,000 people working the Indianapolis event. They're also avoiding building last-minute seating. At the New York Stock Exchange, I'm Jane King with the Bloomberg Business Report.